Here to present the next award of the evening is actor, comedian, Mike Birbiglia. Hi. I'm, uh, I'm here to present to Hassan Minaj because you, I think you can't present to yourself. Not, uh, I think not everybody realizes something about stand-up comedy is that there are, there are thousands uh, of us. Uh, my mom thinks there are four and that I'm not one of them. <laughs> you can't keep track. You literally, you meet people, you get really jaded. They're like, I'm a comedian. You're like, all right, well, we got enough. And, uh, and then every once in a while, you meet someone and, you, and you're like, well, who the hell is this guy? I met Hassan Minaj at the Just for Laughs Festival in Montreal in 2014. I was like, who, who the hell is this guy? And then uh, I went up to him, I go, hey, uh, I saw you're from Davis, California. I'm performing there on my tour. Would you want to open for me? He goes, yeah. He, and then, and then a, f a few months later, he calls me and goes, I got cast on the, on the Daily Show, so I can't do that anymore. And then I was like, well, who the hell is this guy? Like, what is... <laughs> so a year later, he invites me to his show, Homecoming King, at the Cherry Lane Theater. It, w it was just stunning. And I was mesmerized by the skill and vulnerability of this comedian who had never mounted a solo show before. And I was like, who the hell is this guy? And, uh, and now I think, I think I know who he is. He's a born comedian who aspires to expand this the form of stand-up comedy, someone who addresses race and his own heritage, but in a way that we've never heard, a, a guy who constructs a group of stories about his high school crush in a way that we've never seen, a guy whose work that demands to be noticed among the thousands of comedians he works alongside. That's who the hell he is, and he's, uh, he's pretty nice, too. Here to accept the Peabody Award is Hassan Minaj! Oh man, oh, thanks Mike. Uh, <laughs> you know, when I got the email about this, <laughs> I was just unsubscribing from Old Navy and I was like, Dr. Jones emailed me. Um, Look, I, uh, I just want to thank my amazing Homecoming King team who's had my back through this whole journey. When we started this three years ago, um, it was because of the love and the TLC that my director, Greg Wallach, gave me, and he believed in my story. I just had a bunch of stories in a notebook, and he was like, I really think this can be a show. I want to thank my entire team, Jenny, Aaron, Ryan. They have had my back throughout my entire career, and most importantly, uh, Jamie Van Dyke, who has been pushing the cues on every single show that I've done in every little dingy theater across the country, <laughs> and Michelle and Shannon from Arts and Industry. You guys helped make this a reality at Netflix. I wanna thank my home at Netflix. And um, most importantly, I would like to thank my wife, Bina. Um, she has had my back for the past 14 years. So thank you so much. And my baby daughter, Ruhi, I just wanna be as strong as she believes I am. So thank you guys so much. And Greg, take it away. Hassan, when we first started working on this show about three and a half years ago, and we sat together in a little cafe, and you asked me the question, can a man stand taller than the shadow he casts? And I think you've accomplished your mission statement, that you are standing taller than the shadow you cast. I'm so proud to have worked with you, and thank you so much for trusting me with your stories. And uh, originally the show was called Sukoon, which in Urdu means peace of mind in your heart. And I hope that you found it, because I think with Homecoming King, you brought that to all of us. <laughs> 